Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another Android 13 ROM. So this is another ROM I'm trying now uh, after Pixel Experience ROM, which was not that bad actually, but because of new, Android 13 is quite new, so you don't have much ROM. But now it's increasing. So this ROM is actually Paranoid ROM, which is based on Android 13 and one of my subscriber or someone who commented on my uh, last videos and asked me to check this one out so he said this one is quite good rom and i have been using this rom like three or four days and it has some feature which i haven't seen in my any other roms never i have never ever seen that so paranoid is actually quite good rom i used to have this rom or i used this rom on my redmi note 4 and after that I haven't in installed it on my Redmi Note 8 so this is the first time I'm trying it on my Redmi Note 8 and it's not based on Android 13 so let's go and check first uh, what we are getting with this ROM so if I go here and yes as you can see Android 13 and the security patch level is like August 5, 2022 it's quite uh, old but it doesn't matter actually so maybe you will get update and after that the, the app selection so what we are getting here the, the the launcher we are get, getting is like so if i go to the home setting so we are getting the launcher is called maybe uh, see uh, maybe this launcher is called paranoid launcher maybe but it's not google launcher actually it has looked like google launcher but it's not but it has a customization like you can remove the google search bar from here i don't really like google search bar so it's quite good actually they have these kind of features and the, the the rom is actually quite fluent i haven't faced any kind of problem yet maybe there are some bugs but still i haven't faced anything so the, the as you can see the launcher is quite fluent and the, the performance is quite good but there is a issue also i will tell about that too so the rom come with uh miui camera which is working fine there is no issue with that and there are some basic g apps and i have disabled it almost all like google and chrome and other things because i don't really use those things and it has one interesting feature also so first of all um let's see what we are getting with this so you know we are running on android 13 and we are getting also we are getting xiaomi parts option because this rom also has like a skin burning issue i have tried it without turning on the kl kl option but um, I was getting like skin burning issue then I have to turn it on and adjust uh, screen setting saturation and other things and it's working just fine now, now no skin burning issue and another features like which I was complaining about on my uh, pixel experience ROM which is navigation bar peel so I don't really like the peel here so I, I always disable that one so so you can Turn it on and off from here the immersive navigation so that's also present here so we have options so we can use it if you like it you can keep it or if you don't like you can just um, turn it off and as i said it has an unique feature so the unique feature of this rom is that if you go to the hotspot option which i haven't seen actually any any other rom even so as you can see here in hotspot option you can share dual band wi-fi yes it does work actually so you will get two wi-fi networks same one is 2.4 gig and 5 gigas it is i haven't seen maybe in flagship phones you may get this feature but in my phones whatever i have used i have never seen this feature available on the phone but it's working actually it's working just fine but sometimes my phones like my my lumia phones does not really find this uh band i don't know even 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz none of this but my laptop can get 2.4 and 5 both of them i don't know why it's it is going on but if i turn off like dual band just turn on 2.4 i i get the network on my windows phone so this is a one actually unique feature here and other than that there is nothing new no it's completely look like the pixel experience rom there is nothing new here everything works fine actually but the, the major issue i have found is that the battery backup so it's not that bad actually there is battery backup but it's not that bad uh, i haven't faced actually that much issue but it is present like the, the battery is not that 
good on this ROM then I have used like CR Droid and other ROMs they are, they are quite better from this ROM so rather than that nothing new here so if you are really want to install this ROM you will get the link in the description below and I will say just why wait for a few months maybe there will be much better ROM after some time and Android 13 is still new so there is not not much improvement in Android 13 yet so if you because there is I haven't seen any features that is like it's different from Android 12 so I haven't found that that things actually another thing is that even you don't have like individual uh, Wi-Fi and mobile network option most of the ROM actually include this feature but this ROM does not uh, maybe in feature update they will do it maybe not so it's not there as you can see here but rather than that it's a quite good ROM um, that the fluent it's quite fluent and just only one problem is the battery issue and skin burning issue skin burning issue you can fix it with your uh, the Xiaomi parts option but battery issue is there present and it's not that bad actually it's not really well actually you will get like five five hours maybe four to five hours skin on time not more than that so that's it for today for about the paranoid rom review and maybe i will see you next time with some other rums thank you very much for watching